Hey guys, um, it's time to answer question three of our frequently asked questions. Um, one of the things that we get questions about is sodium hydroxide. Um, what is sodium hydroxide and can you make soap without live sodium hydroxide? Um, and the answer to the first question, sodium, what is sodium hydroxide? So sodium hydroxide is a caustic soda. Um, the kind that we actually get, and it's our acid, uh, acid base that we use, the kind that we actually get is uh, food grade sodium hydroxide. I found out a little interesting fact that they um, actually like dip pretzels in sodium hydroxide really quickly um, when they actually make pretzels. So that is the one thing that's um, used. And back in the day with live soap, um, most of our grandparents used wood ash to make um, soap. And then this has just become a more conventional method of making soap. Um, it was produced by some scientist. I can't remember his name, a French scientist who um, made sodium hydroxide. But it really makes it easier for, um, what you need is to dilute it. So I dilute it in um, a bowl of water. And so it's, it's pretty much uh, less sodium hydroxide than there is water, so it's super diluted. And then um, mix it with the oils and that's how we get soap. And to answer the question about whether or not you can make soap without lye, you will probably like find articles that say soap with no lye. That is not the case. Um, and after the four to six week curing process, lye is not present in the final product, but you do have to use sodium hydroxide to make bar soap as well. You have to use potassium hydroxide to make uh, liquid soap just because you have to mix that with um, the oils, with the fat to make soap. So um, if the way when you see people saying that they're making soap without lye is the melt and pour process where you don't have to directly deal with lye, but when you're making soap from scratch, as we do, we have to use um, sodium hydroxide, and then we take all the proper precautions. I use gloves, I um, wear goggles, and um, also, I should have a um, filter mask, but I use a towel to cover my mouth in the meantime, and then let the uh, room be well ventilated. So yeah, that's sodium hydroxide, something that we can learn to um, know and love, also known as lye. So, helps to make the soap it's harsh in the beginning but at the harsh in the beginning but at the end it's not present in the final product